Right, let's sort out the zombie citadel. It's time for venge. Let's see what we can do with our zombie standard slot then. Start off with some Gomons for some extra money, zombie style. Nice little stat going here. The boss has appeared. Well, boss is lots of them. I don't know whether luring's a good idea, but we've kind of uh, lured ourselves into it, to use a turn of phrase. So we're going to let this stuff get relatively near. Get one more worker count upgrade, I reckon. And then just spam everything for what it's worth and see what happens. Oh. Yeah, not bad, not bad. Freezing's definitely a big help. Oh, but uh, we're just getting melted again. Ah, no, no, no. Bad, bad. We need to reevaluate. So I've only got rare gacha here. We brought Ruin instead of Bahamut for some knockback. Let's see if that works. Try and maximize the money off the start. So we've got the Maglove there. And for the re-emerging of the Snatch, we'll get a Gomon out. Oh, nicely timed, there we go. Oh, but it's gone again. See you later. Ah, see you now. I think Gomon start off, as long as, you know, nothing too hefty is around. It's pretty effective for getting the worker cat up. We're getting those zombie kills. We've got a level 7 worker cat. That's all very nice. And we're nearly there. We're there. Let's get ourselves started. What's happening over this side? Nothing much. That's good. Stalling time, then. Razors and Gomons, I think. Right, here we are, then. Base hit. Let's holy blast the whole lot of them. Let's freeze them, give the Gomons a chance to do some damage. Hopefully damage has been dealt. We're gonna lure them over again just to separate out the stuff and give us as many monies as we can possibly get. Okay, you are emerging there. Let's do a slow scroll over to our side. Cautionary razors as per Aruran. And then, yep, yeah, everything else, because we can afford it. We're not getting any knockback traction off Aruran until now. That's what we like. That's what we like. That's what we like. But we're going to need it consistently by the look of it. And, well, the prop rates dictate that that is not going to happen. Holy Blast gives us a brief respite. Another lovely knockback. That's killed off but not zombie killed. The Zor. So that's lovely. But then we still get melted away. It's it's better. It's, it's definitely better. You can see that. But not quite what we want. Max Worker Cat again. Love these Gomons, love them, they're great. Bosses are out, let's build up some Gomons and Meat Shields. And start off our run now, yeah, that Zor is faster than I accounted for, so no need to wait. Okay, decent stack on our end, stuff isn't really moving, but that's because some stuff is burrowing, so we've got a lot less to deal with, and soon to be a whole lot more to deal with. So let's create a back line that will be appropriate for that. Although the Zor is back out front, so maybe there is no burrowing. Oh, well that would bear us well, wouldn't it? Because this is fine. Stuff's being frozen and, ah, okay, a second boar. Zyklone inst among us. That is kind of what's going to make it difficult for us. Aruran's back to the back line, though, which is exactly where it needs to be. We've got some nice zombie knockbacks there. A little dragon stack going. Some more maglev action. Plenty of gomons at any given time, doing lots of damage. A zombie kill on a Zor. Okay, it looked like things were about to turn bad there, but this is much better. So now, it's just whether we can deal with zombie teacher bears. Oh, and, and more Zors. I, I guess that's also an issue, but uh, we'll, we'll see what we can do. Oh, nothing. Okay, well, thanks for answering for me, I guess. Okay, computer time, and and probably Sniper as well. Let's see what we can do. Rich Cat, we don't need that. We can get the monies. No, you idiot! See, oh my god. Right, no. CPUs should not be on when battles start. Please, just default it to off, Podos. It's, it's not that difficult. Right, well, let's try something different. We're just going to be dealing with the Zor by itself, although not really by itself for long, and with no monies. Maybe I should have just brought a rich cat anyway, for seeing that something like this might well happen. We have absolutely no grace period, essentially. It looks like the kind of lure and push through idea might not be a great one because stuff just arrives so quickly. We might just want to capitalize on the distance that we can get on our base. Lure and push through works where you can, well, deal with the big clump of stuff of your big clump of stuff. But we've just got to try and chip away at it, I think. Shut up, CPU. We can turn Sniper off so that we can get max monies, if possible, from our double Gomon money. God, they always push through, don't they, these snatches? Whatever you do, really, but something we've got to accept and make money out of, because that's the order of the day. Get up to max monies, 
move something over to the front of the battle. They'll put out everything except for a ruin. Bring a ruin for the stuff that comes out to here, and then everything else forward. Although I did forget that this stuff also does come out on the timer. Let's just get a ruin out here now then, because we're mostly at the back anyway. And what we wanted to do, well we kind of can't do that. But let's turn the CPU on, the sniper on, and it will do a more efficient job than I can, and well, if the CPU can't do it, I, I can't see what can, really. Oh, that's good. Little zombie come on, a little zombie clone. Oh, that's less good, though. Pushed back into a tiny clump of our own, while a massive clump of theirs arranges itself. We have loads of monies, and just nothing to spend it on, basically. But it hasn't always happened that way. We've often had very little monies. Anyway, things have been dying on their side. We've got a holy blast back. That's much better. Look at that. Zorgon. And although there's another one, this puts us in a better position than we were a few seconds ago and uh, now we're in a worse position than we were a few seconds ago. Oh, time is relative isn't it? Those bears, that's our problem. Right, we have loads of monies and here's a surefire way of spending them. Cryptocurrency? Lil flying. If we can stack up a bunch of them and do a massive damage with them, maybe we can regulate the enemy stack a little bit more easily. That or we'll run out of monies and lose. Find out next time. <laughs> I feel like the Gomon start-off is quite effective, because without meat shields, they don't move forward all that quickly. But we'll end up zombie killing stuff, so you get monies from it still. At least, that's the plan. Let's start moving stuff forward. Make up as much ground as we possibly can, and just know that we're gonna get pushed back. Monitor the monies now that the CPU's on, but hopefully, with the amount of zombies that are dying, the sort of revolving door of zombie death, we should be able to keep up the little flyings. There's certainly plenty about, but are they actually making any attacks? Uh, doesn't really look like it so far. I mean, occasionally, and occasionally might be all we need. Especially when stuff's frozen. Look at that! The ball's gone! Ooh, the power! I'm a big fan of that, but let's turn our attention to here. At our base, no monies. Let's turn the CPU off. Meat shields. Oh, I've left it too late, I think. Yeah, there's no monies again now. Unless stuff dies like that, that's good. But if the monies just get absorbed, Instantly. Okay, CPU back off then. And the stack is back to full force. There's nothing we can do. This time, we've got Ghetto Amigo, because hopefully a whole load of them being about might be able to occasionally knock back some zombie stuff. And I've got rid of Hyper Mister for better regulation of monies. Hopefully I'm thinking the Lil Flying Power we're the one to get the zombie kills. This is forming quite an effective wall. And a bit of a party, really, all things considered. Right, the boss wave has struck, though, so let's move ourselves onwards with some powerful stuff. And, well, yeah, CPU. No point me doing it when a computer can do it for me. Ah, oh, lovely. See, that is a proper stack. Look at all the Gomons jumping up and down. This is what we like to see. A stack of little flyings doing loads of damage. That is also what we like to see. Unfortunately, gaining ground in this bit is slightly meaningless because everything is just refreshed and the enemies keep coming out. So we end up in a very similar position each time. And I'm not quite sure how we're supposed to avoid that. Although... That kind of helps, I guess. That's much better. Stuff died at just the right time there. Can we capitalize on it? Can we do enough damage to gravy? Well, no, it doesn't look like it really because we're just getting knocked back and the little flyings can't get an attack in. And yeah, okay, they've they've made their mark onto our base. And that's it, and another gravy. It's not happening. It's not happening. Ooh, I like the look of this one. Hayabusa in its true form against the zombies. It can stand back, dash forward, do its attack, dash back, and if it's not knocked back in that time, it could be very helpful to us. Also gonna swap in Housewife Cat for some long distance damage to chip away at Gravy. And the bears, because those are our main problem. If they stack up, we die. It's one of those situations. Let's turn the situation around. I think I'm gonna avoid Hayabusa until things get really hairy and scary, because the recharge time means we're gonna have to be opportune with where we're using it. And one bear, as difficult as that is, isn't hairy and scary enough to warrant it. Oh, what's underneath us? Nothing now, okay, good. See, this seems all right. Now we're getting the stuff stacking up, so I think it's Hayabusa time. Let's get the CPU on. There we go, that's better. Clear stuff out from being in the middle of us and causing us trouble. That's what we all want. Come on, Hayabusa. Oh, yes, a group of zombie kills. That's what we like to see. Oh, that's much better. Oh, yeah, knockback. We love knockback. Speaking of knockback, we've also got Ectoweight with us 
thought that might be a little bit more useful than trying to pull off a freezer weed whacker. Just desperately keeping stuff away from us. Bear causing us absolute horrendous destruction. Oh my god. Gonna holy blast them there. So they're nice and frozen. I really hope I didn't make Hayabusa miss there, but I feel like there's a genuine chance. Monies are beautiful. We're moving forward a little bit, but I feel like that always just puts us in a little bit more danger of being burrowed under. Hopefully, the zombies just continue to be preoccupied with us. Oh my god! Three gravies! That is disgusting! And there's a Zor there as well! Where's my high booster gone? Stuck in the middle, and now dead. Yeah, no, this is- this level is silly, we can formally conclude. Not in line with the difficulty of the other citadels. Not even remotely. I'm bored of this. I'm going for a Twix.